Hi, this is Destiny from Despeaks and welcome back to another video in the e-commerce series using Django. In this one, we'll get started working with the change password view. That is what we'll be doing. Hopefully, you will enjoy the video and learn something new. So, let's get started. I will begin by opening up my code editor and I can close up all this now and come over to the user admin view. And just down here, I want to create a new change underscore password and I will pass in requests for this one and I need to grab the user so I'll say user should be request that's user all good now there is something that we need to import at the top which is called check password that helps check for passwords that should be from django.country.odds.hashas import check password that's it so now all the way to the bottom let's firstly check if request.method is post if requests dot method is post, then let's grab the old password, new password, and confirm new password. So old underscore password should be equal to requests dot post dot get old underscore password. I'll do the same thing for the new password. Here should be new. And here we should have new password and also confirm new password, confirm underscore new password should be the same over here. All good. So now let's firstly check if confirm new password is not equal to new password, then let's return a message and also a redirection. So message dot Message, let's say passwords does not match. Password does not match. This should be message the error. Okay. And we, we want to redirect back to the change password view. So we are redirecting back to this place. That is it. Now let's see if then let's call check password. So if check password and we want to pass in the old password and also user dot pass word so what this we do now is it's check password takes in two arguments one is the old password that the user has applied to us claiming that that's their old password the another one is the actual old password from the user model now it will compare these two things and if it's true it will return true or false so if it's true then let's set a new password for the user so i'll say user dot set password and we pretty much want to call this the new password so we are setting the new password in there i hope that makes sense so after we've set the new password for the user let's go ahead and save i'll say user dot save all good all good let's return a message and also a redirect so message this one should be message dot success we can say password changed successfully password changed successfully and we are returning back to the change password okay and after we change the password what if the old password isn't actually correct then let's return this here and we'll say old password is incorrect old password is incorrect all right, I think that's pretty much everything that we want. That's it. So we can now return a template. Let me grab a template from here. And I will call this one change password. And we don't need any, any context for this one. Just change password is enough and remove the context. All right, all good. Now I'll take the change password from, the, from here, copy this and pretty much paste it in the user admin, paste not create why do i keep trying to create a new file paste instead okay then you need to bring in the bring this and this in there so i'm bringing that in here take this and pretty much put it over here and fix the indentation and let's also create a url for this so creates url in user admin this will be called change password 
change or uh, not that but change password you have the same thing here also now let's put this in the base html for the user admin you could take one of this and put it here and this one should be change underscore password okay, guys let's try this out reload this page um can you break out from your server and run it again let's see if it's a code syncing issue my server is running again i'll reload this that was the problem click on this now you can choose new passwords so if you come over to change password make sure that the form let me open this up make sure that this form has a csrf token Make sure that the old password has a name, old password, same as the new password, same as the confirm new password. And make sure that the button here is type of submit. Reload the page again. Let's try this out. My old password is testing3211. My new password is, let me say testing3211. I was the one that unlocked this so that you don't see the pin thing. Once you change this type to password, then you should see the password type, okay? I just want to see what I'm typing. So testing three two one one that is what i want to use instead and now let me try putting an old password that doesn't match firstly let's see what happens old password is incorrect good that is working as expected but if it says old password is incorrect it should be an error right yep should be an error wait let me have a reload again So now let me add in something else. Let me just fill this in randomly and I'll hit save new password. Now see, old password is incorrect. Good. So now let me put in testing 3211, which is the right one. And I'll say testing 3211 and also testing 322 so that we can see it say password does not match. Good, that is working. So now let's actually change this. Testing 321, testing 3211, testing 3211 and save password password changed successfully that is pretty much it guys password change successfully is working as expected but before i continue please let me change back to test three to three to one because i always forget this so i want to change to testing three to one testing three to one here should be one here should be one no here should be one save oh yeah that is the problem it seems i actually got let me see this see i've been logged out as soon as you change your password you will get logged out that that one is a short thing if you want to prevent that change this add a login required decorator over here but don't worry i'll work with decorators in the next video but right now this is working see i can now use test entry to one one to log in then see i am logged in all good so now see my profile picture actually left then which means i was logged out so let me change my password back to testing three two one. Testing three two one. Then save new password. All good. That is pretty much it. See, I have been logged out again. You see. So now I have to relog in using the current informations so that I can access this page. See, that is pretty much it. Hopefully, you understood the video and learned something new. In the next one, we will see. We will finally work with a simple um, decorator for the admin. So once that decorator is passed to a view, customers will not be able to access that route. For example, customers cannot can never access the route called user admin orders. To show them something like you are not authorized to access this page. Only an admin should access this page. Something like that. That is all we're working on. Hopefully you will enjoy the video and learn something new. I hope to see you there. And until then, mad love. Peace out.